everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am really excited to share with you all the brand new die set from tonic studios it's called the magnificent mortis gift box and it doesn't create just one box there are boxes within the box that you can create you can see there are so many dies to decorate your box and um, there's so many layers i will be creating one box with you um today but check out the links below so the this die set will be available from today so the large box will be approximately like this size this is a very large die um set as you can see so you get all of these dies um these are the edges over here i have printed off my um instructions um you're going to get this as well so you can have it to the side and have a look at what you need to do but if you're used to tonic studios dies you know how easy they are to put together this large die is going to create my sides and i've got a lot of um decorative pieces to create um designs with i can see here and here and then this is going to create my actual box uh top of my box and the base of my box and then this section here these create some smaller boxes which by looking at it actually um, I think you can fit four of the smaller boxes along with their decorative panels for the small boxes inside the large box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting these, um, uh, cutting some bits and pieces out of these dies and I'm going to create a magnificent box with you all. Okay, so to create the box base, first of all, you're going to need your second largest square die, which is this one. And then you're going to cut out a base so you're going to need one of those then to create your sides there's this die here with this funny little notch on the top and i'm going to show you the die actually it's this large die here and then you're going to need to create a cut out four of these to create the four sides and then you're going to have to fold this so i'll show you how to fold it so you've already got your um crease lines in there the handiest tool you're going to need is your bone folder to get those crisp crisp edges so you're going to reinforce all the creases with this bone folder and these are available at tonic studios so check out the links below and then here this little diamond shape here this is going to be a mountain fold which means it's going to pop out so i'm going to just tease it with my hand and then I'm going to just go in and burnish that and then these little side ones they're going to come on the top like this and then same again here so I'm using um, Tonic Studios 300 GSM card base to give myself a really sturdy box um, so good quality card base is recommended from me anyway I think um, you're going to get a much sturdier box and then I'm going to go in again and do that so then you've got something that looks like this and then what you're going to do is meet this corner up with this corner and you're going to glue these together I'm just going to tease it in place before I stick it down so you're going to get this kind of a look so I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of these little creases so I'm using some double sided tape for instant stickiness and then I'm also going to use some wet glue so adhesives, glues are all available at Tonic Studios. I use the deluxe adhesive for the opposite side. So I get a really, really strong bond between the two sides that I'm going to cross over and stick together. Okay. So let's take these off. And remember, you're going to do four of these. So I'm going to tease my card into place making sure my corners are matched up like that put it down give it a little 
burnish and then again with your bone folder just go in and give it a little burnish so this adhesive sticks together and then this little crease here also becomes a bit more defined so you can go right to the butt of that crease and just go in and get a really nice crisp edge there okay so you're going to need four of these which i've got here and then you're also going to need four of these little sections and these are going to create the um, edges for this and you're going to stick this section with these so it's going to be easy if you see what i do so i'm just going to quickly again this die is this one so you're going to need to fold these over Give them a burnish and then put them to the side it's such a clever box now i'm doing um, a two tier box what i'm showing you here is enough if you want to just do one tier box with a lid um so i've already done my bottom tier which i'll show you in a sec but um yeah these you can stack as many as you like it's such a beautiful beautiful box when it comes together and there's so many different layers to decorate as well so i've got these four ready so what i'm going to do is you can see these little um creases on the notch you're just going to gently cross them over like so and what they do they just um, tuck in to this little triangular section that you just created and it gives you like a mitered corner do you see that so it's already like you know almost coming together so quickly so I'm going to do the same with these and then just they just slip into place here just give it a little tease with your hand Should just go in that nice tight corner and then I'm going to do the same here like that and then the last one and I don't put adhesive on because you've also going to be you're also going to be using some um corner tabs to get, put everything together which i'm going to show you in a bit let's get this one in here the last one is a bit more tricky to put in because it is the last one let's get those in like that and i'm not too worried that they're a bit you know gappy on the sides because i'm going to go in and um, put some corners in so that's that done for now I'm going to work on this now so just put that to the side for a sec and what I'm going to do is put these little tabs on here with some glue and then that's going to create a flap where the other bit's going to sit on so let me just stick these together Okay, so before I stick this base and the sides together, I want to um, create some um, 
corners to put these together so what I'll what I've done here is I've got this die here which cuts out a lot of these little um, semicircles and then I've also cut them out in some beautiful um, rose platinum cardstock as well so I'm going to use some of these on the top the rose platinum ones and I've got some cream ones that I'm going to use um, at the base here okay so you get this handy die to cut these out okay so I've got these ready and all I'm going to do is fold them in half and then you're gonna use I'm going to be using wet glue and I'm just going to hold them in place like this and I'm going to do the same on the top as well okay so that's what I'm going to do right now Okay, so I've got all my corners put on. Um, now, the reason I used these corners is because this is going to be my second tier. But if you wanted to just keep it as one tier, you could actually add some legs. And these dies are also in this um, amazing kit or collection, should I say. So you get these two dies here, which create these little pieces here. And all you do with them is you... I'm just going to show you quickly is... You put these together like that and then you've got this like a funny um like a weird diamond shaped one here and this almost creates like a pedestal for your box and um, which, which are actually your legs so this then gets stuck in here and then your box is going to sit on top of here and um, so that creates like a really really cute little leg if you wanted that so i've done this for my um, bottom tier so i'm just going to show you how to put this base together now i've actually just put some double-sided red liner tape on the base um the up or the flap just to save a bit of time and the easiest way i found find to do this is just slot this in the middle in the center of your box do this again so I'm going to slot this in here and then I'm going to fold this section down and then bit by bit I'm just going to remove my red liner tape. So I'm going to do this section first. So your pokey tool is quite handy for this. Okay. And then you're just going to go in and push that on okay so this bit's just popped out let me just get this in here this is in here and then i'm going to do the same for all the other sides okay so let's get this taken off the backing on red liner tape is quite easy to take off it's just a bit fiddly because of the position where i've put it and then get that little burnish and I'm going to go in again with my bone folder to um, burnish it a bit more so it's stuck on good and proper and then the last one I'm going to go in like this so it's going to go in reinforce those creases and then you can also just go in and give it a little burnish this way it's a very strong tape anyway so you should be fine so that is my box base done um, now for the inside I have actually got some boxes made you can make some small boxes um, to go in but before I actually do the inside I want to do the box lid so for the box lid you're going to need the largest square die which cuts out these notches you'll see here I'm just in. 
this is the largest die and this bit gets cut out to leave you with these notches and then for the edges you're going to need this section here cut out four times so again i've used that rose gold and basically the way this is going to work is this box is going to be wrapped around with this section here and then these little sections are folded together to create like a closure like that so let's get some tape on this and get this um, put together Okay, so that in itself is actually a really really cute box to gift a card in i get a lot of questions asked about how do you post your dimensional cards i think this would be a really really nice card box but i want to take it much further and i want to decorate the edges of this and the top of the box so let's uh, finish the edges of this box and for that i've got these little sections which i've cut out of um, patterned paper and then i've used some more of that beautiful rose platinum um card from tonic studios and these are the dies which cut out these little sections and all i'm going to do is just use some wet glue to put the decorative section onto the patterned paper and then I'm going to lay them up and I'm going to put them all around the edges of the actual box so let's get this stuck on and the nice thing about using um, this kind of um, mirrored card is when you get your glue on there you just um, could just buff it off and rub it off and it's totally shiny then so I've got all these little sections I've got some more ready done here so all I'm going to do is you'll see how the notches are actually cut away so they fit nicely into these little positions so I'm going to just stick those on So that's done look how gorgeous that looks and i absolutely love the color combo so now I want to, what i want to do is work on the box lid i've actually also got a piece of the same card which i'm going to put inside here and um, so i'll do that and then i want to decorate the top of the box using all these beautiful layers of um the dies i've actually already cut all the pieces out which are right here and i'm just going to lay them up and create the top of that box
okay so i have my box lid done really really beautiful i think that's so gorgeous the box base is done and i've put the inside um finishing touches in the only thing left to do now is create some inner boxes so this little die here will create the sides of your small little boxes which i've cut out and decorated already these decorative panels are also in the kit along with two of and two other designs you can have your box open or you can have them closed i've decided to keep mine open so for those i'm going to need two edges i'm going to need a box top and this is going to finish off the top edge and then a box base which is this here so first of all i'm going to connect the edges and then i'm going to put the box base on So here is the box we've just done so so adorable so beautiful so luxurious looking as well and the reason i kept the base of this one quite plain and no feet is because i did a bottom layer so this is my first layer with feet and these dies are um in the kit like i shown you earlier on and basically what you're going to do is you're going to create um, your feet using the dies I've shown you and then instead of using the semicircles, if you want to stack your boxes you're going to use this circular die with a flat flat top so it's the same thing you stick it to the corners and then you add your decorative little boxes in the center and for this one I've used some floral papers and it came out so cute and I think something like this to gift like embellishments and flowers and beautiful things for crafting to friends would be perfect so this then sits on top i've not put it on yet so let's hope it all fits yes it does and here is my finished beautiful box i'm just going to zoom out slightly so you can see so so gorgeous so beautiful i absolutely love the way it's come out and it looks stunning and here it is again from the side and you could actually, there is a die in there to create um, um, a little knob if you want. But I think my little bow looks really cute and it's stunning. So that is it from me for today. I'm sorry if the video is a bit long. I just wanted to show you how to put this together. Um, sometimes die sets like this can be a bit, you know, you think, oh my gosh, how am I going to get started? But once you get started, it's really easy to put together as you saw how I did. And you can really go to town and decorate your boxes with whatever you like so that is it from me for today thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you all very soon take care bye